Hey everyone, I'm just uh, getting in my daily workout. I'm trying to uh, trying to make this a more daily and more uh, more frequent thing. Uh, and I'm just running around here, and I'm wanted to get a couple of things off my chest. I'll post this on I'll post this on my YouTube and my in my Instagram. I just uh, I just met a. a amazing young activists uh, outside of my local Ralph's. Uh, JR, if you see this, was a, what a brother. And I was reminded by what, what, what we're all out here trying to achieve. And, you know, I can speak from my own experiences, but, you know, I was inspired by JR. He is connected with, JR is connected with, um, apologize, I didn't ask for his pronouns, for JR's pronouns. Uh, but JR was outside this, uh, my local Ralph's on his, uh, on his own time, uh, on his own uh, volition. And he was, and JR uh, was out there being, uh, being an activist uh, representing uh, local local eleven because uh, right now there is a coordinate coordinated campaign by all the hotels in Irvine and all of Orange County because they don't want this to spread where uh, we have not just worker protection but also making sure that hotel attendants have uh, not just a not just a a uh, good rage, but also fair uh, employment practices, fair overtime uh, practices, and they are you know, the hotels are spending tens of thousands of dollars, probably upwards of a million dollars, to fight the the uh, worker protection uh, ordinance that was passed uh, not too not too long ago in Irvine. So. They are, the, and these, these are the hotels that we're talking about. So they are fighting, uh, at the end of the day, they are fighting against worker protections. Uh, and also really they're just, uh, you know, that, that let's say it's a million dollar campaign uh, to try to get this uh, petition uh, onto the ballot. It's really, uh, it's really a, from their perspective, it's a good good investment because they'll be paying out a lot more than a million dollars uh, because they're they're able to skirt uh, all these uh, all these uh, worker protection uh, provisions. So, from my perspective, I was so inspired by this young. Uh, young activists out there uh, on his own, on, on, on JR's own time. And, uh, and it's out there fighting for the community. And th these are our community. These are hotel attendants that have a very stressful job. And in this one little small defiant act, you know, we can do so much more, you know, for for our community and not for the interests of the hotels who are doing very well. So, um, you know, uh, lastly, if you're still uh, if you're still uh, paying attention to my little uh, my little soliloquy, uh, you know, I'm proud to be running in my second uh, ADEM elections. Last time around, I lost by 80 something votes. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, whipping up votes. So if you see a DM from me, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll uh, let me apologize uh, <laughs> in advance uh, for my direct messages to all of you. Uh, you know, uh, really, uh, you know, but it's uh, it's really important for me because. You know, I know where I stand. I stand with the workers of my community. I, I stand with 
the renters here in AD 73, uh, I stand with, uh, you know, how about, how about the Democratic Party starts actually helping uh, unionize, you know, not just, not just uh, SB baristas, but how about all baristas in Orange County? How, you know, how about the Democratic Party spends a little bit of effort into coordinating those activities? How about the, the you know, our local and our state Democratic Party represents the 50% of tenants and workers' rights, uh, tenants and, and, and renters? You know, it's not, a, it's not a Democratic or Republican or independent thing. This is 50% of our community that are renters and subject to you know subject to all the influences of you know their landlords you know and 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 here in Irvine there's one <laughs> gigantic landlord that has so much power and influence well unfortunately that power and influence infiltrates my democratic party and that's not what i want so again, uh, I need everyone to go to ADEM elections. That's www.ademelections. And I need all Democrats in California. We need to get engaged. We need to, we need to get involved. Uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be talking more on my social media about, you know, about, uh, about what we can all be doing, you know, but the single most important act right now is take two minutes out of your time, go to www.adem elections, register to vote. Everyone needs to register for adem elections in order to be eligible to vote. Everyone uh, doesn't doesn't count if you did it two years ago. So uh, this is this is the California Democratic Party process, and this is uh, this is where you know we need to get. Um, like-minded, non-establishment, regular people into assembly delegates uh, so that we can have some influence. Okay, I'm gonna run for a few more minutes and uh, I'll conclude with, you know, peace and love to all of you. And I hope all of y'all are having a, uh, you know, wonderful, uh, wonderful holiday season. And to those who celebrate, you know, Merry Christmas. Thanks, y'all. This is Louis Wong, signing off.